that was one of those games where you had to figure it out. You had to find a way somehow. Particularly in that fourth quarter, you couldn't make a shot. Yeah. You know, for about seven minutes, it seemed that you still found a way. I mean, it, it says an unbelievable amount about the, the character of the fourth quarter. Yeah, we were really tired at the end. I thought we yeah. came out really aggressive, which we wanted to. Um, and, you know, and, yeah, we just tired at the end. Our execution got sloppy. We weren't setting screens. We weren't cutting. Then points were driving up. I thought Mitch was fantastic down the stretch there, just being aggressive, putting some heat on the rim. Um, you know, I think Jesse hit what three did. That's about it. And well, Bryce might have hit one at the top. So, uh, yeah, look. Gutsy win. It's, it's This last weekend, if you had told me when Angus went down that you're going to win both games, I was you know, very optimistic. But, uh, yeah, just the character of the guys, the chemistry is great within the group. They're playing for each other and they're trusting each other and um, we've got some hard workers. You come over here as well at the second end of that double-header. Mm. Obviously, road wins are so hard to come by this competition. I mean, I think that which eight and one now, seven and one, it must be pretty pleasing to be in that sort of position, given all the adversity. Yeah, it, you know, the, those kind of wins, and I think probably the uh, Melbourne game, the double overtime, we started to believe in ourselves. It's a newer, newer group, and started to believe, and that kind of gave us some confidence to go out there. And then the bench guys got the opportunity when Damo went out, and then Tariko, obviously on Friday, was out, and um, the guys on the bench are really stepping up and. Um, you know, it was nothing better than Mitch, who I thought was good. And, and uh, uh, Nick is just a workhorse. He is a fan of workhorse. It made some big foul shots for us at the end. Does that have those boys feel coming back here, having, you know, playing against their former team, though, were they keen to have a big one against the next team? I, I think so. I, we didn't really go in to discuss. They were just, uh, Nick's been playing great. He's doing those double doubles for us all the time. And I thought he was uh, unbelievable at the start of the game. I think he scored the first four points. and rebounds and then down the stretch when they were challenging he got to the foul line and I think he hit them all so um, you know they're, they're great people great guys and they're buying into what we're doing and they certainly add to our chemistry within the group. I think you were you know, incredibly hot early in it's the second game you, you've been sort of getting more into the flow offensively do you, do you feel like you're sort of starting to find your niche in this, in this team? I think so um, I'm in a, a totally different mindset to what I was last year and um, I think we spoke about it after a couple of games ago it just started in practice and I got back to feeling like my Townsville self again when I was yeah. ultra aggressive just running off screen shooting the ball and um, I'm just trying to continue that now stay consistent with it and it may not drop but I, I gotta get the attempts up there to uh, to have a chance so. I mean aside from the ball Absolutely, and when you want to keep going back to a guy, that's one thing you've got to be nails with is the execution because the scout and the defence is locked in. You you know you're getting a shot, so you have to be pinpoint on that execution to get the shot you want. And um, when we ran a couple of plays there to get it, we were, it was on the money and I was able to get get those shots up. Trevor, it's probably hard to always compare reports and yours and stuff like that, but how, where do you put Bryce? You know, what he did the other night? You kind of just knew he was going to hit that game. You said he was going to take it, and it was no surprise when he hit it. And he comes out tonight and, you know, 10 quick points and gets it off on the right foot. Where do you see him and all the players you've seen over the years? Can you, you play him at the top, or is he right up there? Or? Yeah, look, it's probably um, James Innes was, was a guy like that too. Uh, he, he was a special kind of player, and Bryce is a special... He can get his own shot, but he's so unselfish. He, he plays within the structure. He's not, um, you know, he's a very humble guy. And when he needs to step it up, he steps it up. He has that ability. Uh, like I said, he can catch and shoot and go off the dribble, which is a rare for an import in our league because they're normally playing in the NBA. So to have that, uh, you know, and he's very, very team orientated. He doesn't really care about his points as long as we're doing the right thing. So he's a a good um, his mindset is first class I can't fault that at all although we did do a bad pass right then there <laughs> <laughs> and how long with where you're at with um, Damo and, and Angus what's the 
the time. Yeah, look, Angus has had scans, so we don't know the results yet. Uh, Damo's just started to do some light jogging on the on the court, so I would assume a couple more weeks away. And um, Tariko will be probably around the fever break coming back. So uh, we're fingers crossed with Angus. We hope it's not uh, major, and um, you know, we'll have to play our cards when we get the results. He talks about Damo. I mean, he's mm. meant so much to this club. You know, you know, I've had these discussions many times. Yeah. The fact that you're getting these wins now without him, and how much confidence does that develop in the group, knowing that you can get it done with a guy who's just meant so much to to your program? Yeah. What. One thing that probably gets overlooked because people look at numbers and see what's, you know, he's averaging this and what, what Damo, the intangibles that we talk about, but it's also the chemistry. You know, he was, on Friday night, he was the happiest I've ever seen. He comes up and said, that's the best game I've been involved with and I'm not playing. <laughs> you know, he, he's just so unselfish that way and just plays the right way. And that's, you know, we bring him on the road because we need that in the mm. chemistry. We've been big of getting the right guys. And we didn't do that last year. We didn't get the right guys because in a pressure situation, it comes out, and that's what happened to us last year. So we're very mindful, first and foremost, if the talents and um, if the personality's good, uh, but the talent is right there, we'll go for that instead of the rock star with that. So, um, you know, it's something that we've been very mindful of the last five, six years, and going forward, the chemistry is big for us.